Right oh, I know. Now on to the pegs. Looking forward to this. <clears throat> now then, I know these are an inch and a quarter. How far up does that go? There. So the four inches, which is there, plus a cut. So there, I think that'll be all right. Unsupported, aluminium, light cuts, nice sharp carbide bit. We need to turn this down to 32 mil to match the rest of the job. Um, and then we need to put a clearance for these mounting bars, if you remember, up his arse to a depth of three inches. I'll do it. Um, so 20 mil old, three inches deep, inch and a quarter OD, and then groove it up to match the little toe pegs. Got it. I'm not sure about is there's a lot hanging out. I think it went to trim them to four inches in a bit and then cut the outside diameter down twice, you know, step it like and all that, but I reckon I reckon this will be out. I want them hundred long, don't they? Which is fucking right down there. There ish. Let's get a clean up for see what happens then. I'll touch on, give it a bit. I know the machine's lovely with this tip. So, I don't think you've really got any worries. Check that for size as always. That's 37, pretty much on the nose. We want 32. So we'll set that X again, X. 37 or 377 that's not right x37 point whatever he said and we can take a mill off make it 34 fuck it a machine well i reckon that's a nice cut takes it down to 34 I run that up to the chuck. Oh, no, that's not too fucking nice, is it? Swing your shit, because I'm doing a deep cut. Anyway, I run that up to the chuck and join you when I'm getting down to the right size. A fucking bird's nest, look. Oh, they liked it so much it didn't want to fucking leave. Hey. It's like something soup dragging it up off the fucking wagons, can it? So, carry on. It's only a rough impasse, so I'm not too fucking bothered. That's the planet. Now down to actually. What, what do you do? Oh, I always fucking forget, you know. Inch and a quarter, Ralph. It's 32 millimeters. Right. So I'm going to sneak up on it. Someone, I don't have a fucking problem. I think. Let's have a look. See what it does. 32. There. Oh, not too bad. It's just thinner fucking shit coming off. We can live with that. Well, you don't get right round the fucking job. Don't be cold. It's still fucking red hot. It still wants to hurt you. I'll we'll take that down to 32 all the way. Go from there. Right. I think I'm going to do the uh, 
grooves and then part it off. So we're 100 mil is what it's going to end up as. And we can do that 20 mil. So we'll go 20, 40, 60, 80, and then drop off the end line. Bigger spacing because it's a bigger component. Um, still 3 mil deep. So still the same fucking tool. So we'll slow this fucking down. There. We'll zero this eyeball, just eyeball the centre of the tool against the end of the fucking job. There. No no one's going to come along and fucking take a firstborn because we've not measured this width, touched on, gone in half the width of the tool. It don't matter, it's just grooving. So, zero that. Get this moving. Move along 10. 20, sorry. Fuck me, that would have been it, wouldn't it? 20 to there. Come on. It, touch on, and then go 3D, minus 2.93, there, and then move along another 20 to 40, there, flush it off, get a flush it remover, 3, now move to fucking 60. Come on. Come on, yeah. Brush it, remove it. Two mil deep. Eight set. You get the picture. And then we'll part the bugger off at. 100 mil long, so off with that. <coughs> Give me the parking off tool, the parting tool. Touch off, zero, one, 103, which is somewhere there. 103. Fucking hell, only just again. I'm giving myself not a lot to fucking play with on these fucking jobs, do I? And in, in she goes, Captain. She parked that off. Break that head while I've got it, while he's doing his fucking thing. Who says we can't multitask, eh? And she should be coming off any second now. I can't see down the hole properly because someone put a camera in the way. Here we be, Reed. There we go. One blank foot peg. One down, one to go. And bore it out 20 mil. We need to put an M8 grub screw uh, where it's going to fit on the shaft, where it's going to fucking tighten up against the shaft. But we'll get. We'll get the other one done, and then I'll come back when I'm boring. Yeah, yeah, alright. Keep it to your fucking self. Right, so we've got... Both of them. Quite happy with them. Yeah. Nice spray you got there. And I've just chamfered that end. Just the same as... on the toe peg. Um, so now... That's the finished end. Mounting in here, nice and cosy and snug. Without going mad, and we're going to bore that out to fit that shaft. So, as always, we're going in with a sentry drill and then a pilot drill, and then I need to check my fucking drill collection to see what's what. So happy days, I found a 20 mil. We've drilled it to depth to the pilot. Uh, 75, 80 mil deep. Look at that spinning look. We need to grip that, bit of pressure on there, I'll do it. And now we're just steadily gonna work this in until it bottoms out. So, 
I'll join you when I'm done it. And as you might be able to tell by the plethora of swat. We're there. Get rid of this shit. Hold on. <coughs> No. If my calculations are correct, that should fit up there or okay. Don't have to be a fucking interference fit or seal anything or go like that when I pull it off. Although it has, have it? I didn't think it would. Listen up. Yeah. That goes on there. That goes on there with the bushings. Yeah. That goes on there. There's a plate, so there we fucking go. I'll get the other one poured out. I'll break that edge, look. Fucking look, here we go. It's in an operation. I'll break that edge. Yeah, that's alright, I reckon. Right, it's fucking nine pence. It's nice and warm anyway. So that is happy days. It's uh, I'm going to let it cool down. Joe Pye, bless him, he pointed a really good thing out. He says you get that nice fit, like I have here, you know. But that's fucking red hot, and it is hot. I can't hold on to it too long. So when it cools down, it's going to tighten up on there, isn't it? So don't be leaving that in there and wandering off. When you come back later, you'll be in fuck. You'll have to machine it off. <laughs> It'll warm it up and try and get it off, but you know. There you go. Happy days. Right. Now we need the last bit of turning in the uh, job. As far as I can work out this morning, is we need to make a mandrel to turn the outside diameter of these down. So, sorry. On fucking bit. So they'll fit in these, in the pivots. Yeah. There ain't a fuck all, there's fuck all in it. But these bronze bushes don't like to be fucked about, they don't like to be pressed in hard or knocked about or anything, they'll fuck all. So 28 that is outside. And the idea of this is 27.7. Just 1.3 of a millimetre off. A third of a mil, so 12, 13 thou they want off, thereabouts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this down so that it fits the ID, uh, face it off a little bit shorter than the, the depth of this, then drill and tap it M8 and hold it in with a washer, with a normal washer. Yeah, so it's a bit of EN1A this is, leaded. Um, I think the Americans call it 12L14 or something similar. Anyway, let's get this faced off, rough flat. I couldn't find the one that I used nearly 30 years ago, surprisingly. See about that. We need to go just under 20 mil. So we'll take it a light cup. We'll go just under to a 19.9 millimetre, so three quarters of an inch, which is what they'll be, won't they? Which is anywhere about there. 19.5. Uh, we need to turn this down to the ID. Yeah, that's 30.80. We want it to be. Oh, we know 20. We know that, don't we? So it's got 10 mils to go So there's a good few cuts. We'll go two mil at a time. Three mil at a time. It is leavy. It will cut nine. Okay. That's just chipping up lovely. Just down to that stop. You can join me when I'm nearer the size. And it should take us to, to size, to 20 mil. 
a bit of a lighter cut and it's an increased feed rate if you work it out down to the because we because we're now cutting a smaller diameter then the amount it moves along per revolution is uh, greater so there we go look at that I just need to skim off that I think off the end skim off the end It's going to do it. And we'll drill and tap that at eight. I'll run it with a centre drill. Six point eight millimetre. Countable. Finally, in the tap. All this to match fucking beer. Sometimes you have to make a bit of tooling to do the job, don't you? This is one of them times. I'll get that back to out. Come on. Blown out. So, <coughs> excuse me, my calculations are correct. Should fit the bush nice. Take this bolt, I hope I've done the thread deep enough. If not, I'll have to find a shorter bolt. Can't feel my fingers properly. There we go. To be able to tighten that onto there like that and now we can turn that bush we could turn it better if we had a tool in come on cut that out but we can turn that bush and we we worked out that we need it fuck all 28 and we want 27.7 yeah, it's not gonna be an overly snug fit. Like I said, no, it's not a, it's not a fucking something off the space shuttle. It just needs to sit in there and turn on the shaft, don't it? It could sit on the shaft and turn in there. It don't matter. It's not highly stressed. It's just a lot nicer than having steel on steel. So we're gonna go for twenty-seven point seven five. Fuck it. Twenty-seven point seven five. So. I'm going to take that washer down incrementally a lot until we're just touching the bush which we are now. That's telling me 21.16 with the ROs reading. 21.08 and 04. So X is 20. 8.08 enter and we want 27.75 fucking hell which is there hold on another tenth of it another fucking hundredth of a millimetre because that really matters there we go we turn that down to his shoulder Which is there. Back it out. It's tight. It's tight. Fucking is, isn't it? Let's take a little bit more off then. <clears throat> okay, take another fine cut. Oh, what we're going to call it then? 27.7 on the nose. 
It doesn't seem fucking worth it though. The amount it's taking off. We'll see how that goes. Anything that might be a little bit loose now. By the time these are powder coated though, that'll be fucking a pain in the arse to clean out of there. I'm gonna back that out a little bit for the next three. Just to fan his hair. Just to there. We'll try one, eh? Why not? It's not the expense. Let's give it another go. Well, oh, I've got it up. is a little bit offset each time because of the clearance hole in the centre of it. It's not a, an integral part of reaching the dimension. So, pick it off, back it out. Yeah, fucking hell, that's a nice fit. Sorted. I'll get the other two done. And then, I believe, that we're about fucking done on the lathe. I think that now we're onto fabrication to finish these bad boys up. And um, we've got the pinch bolts to put in. The M8 grub screws. Um, I've fished that out of the fucking tray and get on. Now I very nearly missed one important step. Trying these on, I've come to realise, of course, that they're too big, they're proud to this tube. We don't want that. We want them level, so... <coughs> we've got to go back in. And we're going to have to take that off there, look. Until we're down to 32. Here we go. And now the fucking thing. So. There we have the turned components. We've got the mounting centers, shafts. We don't know what you want to fucking call it. We've got the middle bit, yeah? The bolts to the plate that we've got to fabricate. We've got the spacers that offset them for us. We've got the pivots that are going to work the blades and levers to press the brake and change the gear. We've got the toe bits, toe pegs, foot pegs, and the mountings for, for those. What I've realised I've not fucking done is where these bolt, bolts go through this plate. I need to machine, I need to machine um, around countersunk M12, like this sort of thing. It's just a dressing. Just so there's not just a fucking bolt there. It'll look a lot neater. So, Nothing that you've not seen me doing this, it's just two of those made out of aluminium, the right size. Just take like an M12. Um, what I'm really pleased with is this fit. If I can fucking show you. They sit fucking lovely. And it might, if I can do it one-handed, listen. Yeah, just before the clunk, we had a... So, yeah. We can, uh, now we can clean these up. A little bit of surface rust where they've been in storage. It's with a wire brush. Um, I need to put a bend in them. And I need to uh, shape the ends to weld onto there. And to weld onto here. Which will knock these bushes out. Or pull these bushes out I should say. When we do the fabrication. We don't want to be welding this with the bushes on. Um, and we need to make some blades for the bottom. So if the levers come out the top that our feet are going to operate. We need to put a blade out the bottom for the back brake and I need to check the orientation of the um, 
the gear change on here I'm not sure which way this works it's showing me that it's one forward uh, well one down so down this way or down that way not sure that with this going up I'm thinking it had a crossover and downs actually back which should be all right we can uh, drop that down and run it along but I'll check I'll have a play with that and turn the sprocket and see which way gives me more than one gear after neutral and go from there so we made them just off camera they were really fun to make actually just turned a bit down to the, the inch and a quarter the 32 mil diameter and uh drilled it through and then counterboard it with a roughing end mill it's the only thing i got the right size but it made a lovely job of it um flat bottomed if you're watching paul because that's what shape the bolts are so that unless i'm wrong again is all of the turning operations done in the forwards yeah and now we can uh, we can bend these and we can weld it together and we can drill holes in this shit and cut it i hope it works all right it's fucking hard to cut i don't mind telling you that's to be expected oh, 10 mil fucking marine grade stainless steel tends to be a bit resilient mm -hmm.